Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm Emmanuel, I'm a real life airline pilot and today I'm going to show you how to land at Madeira using the Phoenix Airbus A320. We have planned for the VOR visual approach for runway 05 which is what most airlines are using for runway 05 at Madeira. So a general overlook at the procedure. We're going to leave Funchal VOR on radial 211 to the missed approach point which is 3.6 miles from Madeira. Thereafter we'll continue visually on the same radial until 6 miles, then start a right turn and proceed over at Galo and Rosario towards the runway, giving us a 1.1 mile final. Note that this is a very short final and that you are maneuvering very high to the terrain here over the uh, shoreline. So, how are we actually going to fly this? First of all, let's talk about the FMC setup. On the arrivals page, I've loaded VR Alpha from a 05 with the Abuzu transition, which is what you uh, mostly get in real life. They mostly send you direct to Abuzu, and then from there you are flying the approach. And in our FMC, that leads us from Abuzu and via the Fox Delta point to the Funchal VOR. And I have manually inserted a speed restriction of 190 knots in here in order to get us um, a little bit slower, to give us a little bit more time. And since um, 190 knots is recommended at the missed approach point as well. I've put it in at a uh, foot trial view art just to get us slow a little bit earlier. From then, the um, FMC is leading us to the Mike Delta 211, which is our missed approach point uh, from the chart at 3.6 miles. And it automatically inserted 1430 feet in here. The recommended minimum for the visual circling is 940 miles, and since we have about two miles and a bit to fly to the 16 e point, uh, that restriction is totally acceptable for us. So, after this point, the FMC only has the standard missed approach in, and that is something that um, we do not have. Uh, that we do not have um, covered on the VOR visual chart but on the um, prior approach charts. So this tutorial is uh, purely about the visual. Something else that you should do is to insert Galo and Rosario in your FMC. Now, in the Phoenix you can currently not in the insert these on the um, flight plan page, but what you can do is click on the lateral revision part of any waypoint, go to Fix Info, and over there you can enter those waypoints. So we have Galo, that you can enter straight away, and Rosario has to be shortened to Rose Rope. And if we look at the flight plan page now, you will see that Galo and Rosario are both shown on the navigational display. Apart from that, we have set the navigation radio page to a Funchal VOR on both sides with the radial 211 already pre-selected. And the last thing that we'll have to do is to switch our flight directors into track and FPA mode since we will want to use the uh, track mode to continue tracking on the radio 211 outbound Funchal VOR past the missed approach point in here. Apart from that, on the approach page we have of course inserted the weather information. We are going for a flap full landing to reduce our speed on final approach to make the aircraft a little easier controllable. And as the minimums, I've inserted 940 feet, which is basically the minimum altitude recommended for the visual maneuvering in here. Be aware of our wind speed limitations in here. So, you can see that there are quite some limiting values over here, especially when the wind is coming between 010 and 300 degrees. Uh, today it's coming from 010 at 11 knots, and you'll see that the limit is already 15 knots steady wind with gusts up to 25. So we are pretty close to the limiting value already with just 4 knots, despite the wind only being 11 knots in strength. So the wind limitations are something that you most definitely need to keep an eye on when you are approaching a Madeira airport. Now, if you're doing this online, Tower is also game, going to give you wins for um, Rosario over here, which is also counting as a limiting. 
Okay, so this basically concludes our setup. Now, let's cancel the holding here and uh, we'll proceed direct to Funchal VR to start our approach. While we are flying via Abuzu towards a Funchal now, let's quickly review our plan for um, the approach itself. So, hello, don't speed up please, we'll keep the speed slow. We'll just go ahead and uh, activate the approach phase already. Then the airplane is just going to keep itself slow. Okay, so let's quickly review our plan. So, we'll be leaving Funchal VOR in uh, NAV and descent modes on the 211 outbound. And when we're established on 211, we'll switch to track mode in order for the airplane to continue tracking the 211 radial and not start turning away at the missed approach point. At that moment, we'll then also have to go into the flight path angle mode because the descent mode will no longer be available once we are in track mode. So, we can start our descent now. We'll take it down to a thousand feet. Descent. And we'll go flaps 1 in order to enable the airplane to start reducing its speed since we entered the, entered the 190 knot restriction over from the VOR. The VOR is basically located on uh, this small ridge over here. So for overflying the VOR, it's easiest to be using NAV mode, since that um, mode is very well suited to um, keep guiding us on the green line until we join the outbound uh, radial. And as soon as we have passed the VOR and are established on the radial outbound, we are then going to change it to track mode. When we're getting down to the um, circling altitude, we will extend the flaps into uh, position 2. And by the time we pass 6 miles and start our right turn towards Galo, we are then going to extend the landing gear and configure the airplane for landing. So we are out right now. Just going to track 2 on 1. Now we 
are passing via missed approach point at 190 knots. We have to have the airport in sight, which we do. At this point we would also expect our landing clearance at the very latest. So, flaps 2. Flaps! Flaps! Yeah, RAS can sometimes go a little bit crazy uh, on this approach, but that is just due to the uh, FS2 crew RAS, so don't worry about 1, those. Checked. So the airplane is leveling off. We'll set our missed approach altitude. And we're at 6 miles. Gear down. Disengage the autopilot and auto throttle. Speed, speed, speed. Oh, we're going to correct that. Speed, speed, speed. Here we are. I'm sorry for that. And of course, let's just get rid of um, disconnect things here. Okay, so, now we're looking for this uh, white building over here. That is Rosario. And over there we want to maintain minimum of uh, 850 feet and only after that we'll start continuing our descent towards uh, 460 feet for the um, for Rosario. We can also remove our flag vectors now since we don't need them anymore. So this white building you have down here, that one, is the waypoint. The next one is Rosario, and we are basically just following the uh, shoreline here. You can see the lead-in lights over here, and we don't want to overshoot those. We already have the runway and the puppy inside there, so basically now we can simply follow the puppy down to the runway. Be careful not to overshoot the turn, since we have the train uh, coming right over there. And when, we get, when we are getting on final approach, be aware that um, the radio altimeter is going to is not going to give us um, the usual call out Zero. since we are Five. flying uphill there on very short final. Okay, and here we are. For the purpose of the tutorial, I'm going to stop on the runway. And you are landing this on the line. We'll just continue straight ahead to the exit and then the K to the right. And notice how the radio altimeter didn't give us any call out until eventually it started at 40. That's because we are flying uphill. So, thank you very much for joining me on this one. I hope that you found this one interesting and I'm looking forward to see you all going into Madeira now. Thank you very much for your attention and I'm looking forward to see you again soon.